Hello and welcome to this week's preview of racing here in Melbourne. Uh, hope you've got deep pockets because we're in for a big weekend. We've got three meetings across this weekend. Two at the Valley, Friday night under lights and then back on Sunday for the big twilight meeting that combines up with, of course, Hong Kong. And then Saturday at Flemington, Michael Sharkey's going to be our expert tips to define you a winner. Plenty of form to do for you. Plenty of form there, Sean. Hopefully the pockets won't need to be too deep. We can uh, hopefully get a dollar out of Mooney Valley on Friday and that'll just set us up nicely for the weekend. It's been exciting, the Friday night racing. Yeah, it's been good and it's been good having the back-to-back -back meetings too. So the form can flow through. We can get a good look at the horses that are suited at night around the valley and it helps us out uh, when we're doing the form. Alrighty, let's get stuck into it. As we said, the first of these meetings is at the Valley on Friday night. Have you found a best bet for us? Yeah, we're going to make uh, Shadow Fax in race six. He's going to be the best bet. He's, uh, he's been freshened up after a nice fourth there at Flemington behind Lornay. And he led on that occasion and just got the stitch late. So Mark Cavanagh has dropped him back to uh, 1,200 from the 14. Doesn't look to be a lot of pressure in this race. I think he'll lead and win. And with the rail out five metres, you might uh, want to be in front. He's a horse that did have a bit of a wrap too on that day at uh, at Flemington. What about uh, your best each way? You found one in the 55 second challenge for us. Yeah, one in the uh, in the short, short race. We're going with number four in the fourth race, Northern Shift. He was a really good winner over 975 metres at Swan Hill last start, but prior to that he ran uh, third to Moshe, which uh, we all know that horse has got a big wrap on him, and he, he did a good job there sitting second and then holding on for third. There doesn't look to be a lot of speed, funnily enough, for a 955 metre race. I think he can lead and uh, be very hard to run down. All right, so you've got a couple of leaders for us early. What about your Ruffy? We're going to look at David Broadoak's uh, Philly Villa in the first race. She's only had one start. It was at Mornington over 1,200. Obviously was looking for more ground. She got back. She's bred to get over a bit of ground. She hit the line nicely late in the race. I think the step, step up to 1,600 will suit her. She's a much better filly, I'd say, than what we saw first up. She could run a good race here at odds. Alrighty, so there's Michael's selections for the Valley on Friday night. Let's turn the page. We'll go to Flemington on Saturday. Uh, what do you like there? What's your best? Well, Peter Gelagotis has got a nice horse here in race two. Belgiotto is uh, really on fire this preparation. Pete's always had a good opinion of this horse and he's showing why this time with good wins at Bairnsdale and, uh, and Sale. Took inside runs at Sale and beat a couple of horses that had solid sort of midweek uh, city class form. I think the step up to this grade will suit. A mile's within his reach and uh, he'll be very hard to beat. Yeah, he's got a good wrap on him, that horse, as well. All right, the each way, best each way at Flemington. Another country trainer here, Peter Fell. He's got a horse called Kunamu going around in race three. She's a pretty good filly, this one. She had a long break after a good debut run at Mooney Valley. Then she went back to Mooney Valley and just did a little bit too much work, sat wide, hit the front, but just ran out of gas late. I think this race is going to suit her. The straight track will be uh, to her liking, I'd say, and I think she'll run a good race for us at each way odds. All right, she gets a chance to break through there. And what about your best ruffie? Well, David Hayes, is, uh, he's been looking for a winner with this, uh, win with this horse, rather, Voile Rouge in race six, down the bottom of the weights there. I remember him saying that during the Flemington Carnival, he thought Voile Rouge was one of his better winning hopes of the week. Didn't have a lot of luck on that occasion when he drew very wide, was forced back, covered too much ground, just a total forget run. His next run at Sandown Lakeside, same deal, got too far back, made good ground. His sectional suggested that he was right on target. Perhaps this race will be more to his liking. All right, and if you've still got plenty tucked away, which you will if you're following Michael's selections then, have you got a best bet for us at the Valley on Sunday, this twilight meeting linking up with Hong Kong? Yeah, obviously the weather's going to be important to watch with some showers forecast over the, the next couple of days, but I think uh, Grail Journey in race seven, he's ready to win now. He's had a few runs back from a break. Last start second at Ballarat was very good, and uh, he likes Mooney Valley. I think we can have something on him, Sean. Terrific. Well, there's Michael's thoughts about our weekend features across here in uh, Melbourne. As we said, three meetings kicking off at the Valley Friday night, Flemington Saturday, back to the Valley again for the Sunday twilight. You can find all of his selections at lastwordracing.com. Thanks for your time and good punting.